Dear students, in social science research, a variety of data collection methods are there. However, in this module, we will discuss and learn about two, three types of qualitative data collection methods like observation, participant observation and case study in detail. The themes to be covered here are meaning and importance of observation, participant observation and case study methods of data collection, characteristics of observation and case study methods, steps in organization of field observation and case study method, advantages and disadvantages of or drawbacks of these three methods of data collection. First, we will discuss about uh, meaning and the importance of observation. Observation as a method of data collection includes both seeing and hearing. It is accompanied by perceiving as well. Scientific observation has to be systematic, planned and categorical in providing description, in establishing relationship among the events, in locating the causes behind them and thus in testing of the hypothesis. According to Oxford Concise Dictionary, observation means accurate watching and noting the phenomenon by which they occur in the nature with regard to the cause and the effect of mutual relations. It can also said to be a systematic viewing of a specific phenomenon in its proper setting, a systematic viewing of a specific phenomenon in its proper setting for the specific purpose of gathering data for a particular study. Uh, the basic features or characteristics of observation are firstly eye observation. observation mainly involves the use of eyes and thereby researchers who use this method only trust if they observe the phenomena with their own eyes. Secondly, physical and mental activity. Besides eyes, sense organs of the researchers also play a crucial role. During the observation, the researcher has to use his sense organs not only for seeing and hearing things, but also has to keep in mind the whole set of observations during that time for an in-depth analysis of the things observed. Thirdly, the observation should be selective and purposeful. Observation as scientific method of data collection has an aim to observe selected things needed for the research purpose so as to better the social life of human beings. Fourthly, it, observation should be properly planned. During the observation actions, have to be carried out in a planned manner. Otherwise, it is not certain if another chance of making such an observation again may come. Fifth important feature of uh, observation is recording. Due to limitations in memory capacity of the researchers or with the passage of time, it is natural things tend to get out their mind. It is very important to keep a record of such activities either by writing down and or making use of an audio tape or video camera. Uh, observation is a should uh, observation should be exact. For example, during observation, the researcher should make use of standardized tools which enables them to observe and capture the research subject's behavior exactly as it occurs in the natural social context or setting. In the case of observation, one should observe and collect all crucial data. In the observation method, researchers would observe all those activities related to the topic under study. However, the researcher only collects the data relevant to the research including the cause and effect of relationships. Now, having learned about the features and characteristics of observation, the observation method uh, broadly of two types. One is participant observation. When a researcher is participating as a member of the group in which he wants to study with or without knowing to the members of the group the, that is being observed. Suppose if the researcher wants to know the lifestyle of hostel students, the researcher enrolls himself as a member of a hostel and observes their lifestyles, a method which is known as participant observation. In the case of non-participant observation, the researcher does not get involved or does not become a member of the group that is going to be studied, but remains a passive observer watching and listening to the activities and drawing conclusions based on them. For example, if the researcher wants to study the functions performed by nurses or workers in an establishment as an observer, he or she could watch 
follow and record the activities as they are performed mostly without knowing to them. Now, we will discuss a few words about organization of field observations. In social science research, observation as a method of data collection is used differently by different researchers based on their training and experience in different social sciences and the type of subjects that is respondents to be observed. Most researchers try to observe behavior of people in the field setting for which the following steps may be followed uh, so as to carry out the observation in an effective and useful manner. Some of the basic steps in organization of observation are determination of the method of the study. So, the researcher has to first determine whether he wants to participate or non-participant observation method he would follow. Secondly, determination of nature of the topic and the limits of observation. What exactly he has to observe, has to decide and how, what are the limits while observing the a particular phenomena also has to be learned by the observer or researcher. Thirdly, decision as to the directness of observation. Uh, the, the researcher also has to decide uh, how much directly he can observe the particular phenomena whether uh, from a closer place or distance place and what exactly he wants to observe that has to be decided. Fourthly, determination of expert investigators. Uh, suppose the researcher is uh, moderately experienced in uh, an application of observation method, he may request the some of the expert investigators to observe or help the observation process. Fifthly, determination of time, place and people to be studied. So, well in advance the researcher has to decide where, what is the time, where exactly the place and uh, who are the people to be observed has to be decided. Next one is provision of mechanical applications uh, whether it is needed or not. That also the, uh, because observation as told earlier, <coughs> as discussed earlier, observer has to decide whether mechanical devices like audio, video camera and uh, note taking etc. are needed for uh, observing the particular phenomena in the field. Next one is data collection. While making, uh, while collection of data, most of the data will be qualitative in nature by both seeing and uh, hearing and perceiving. So, note taking in addition to audio video uh, recording also will be helpful in data collection. And the next one is data analysis. While doing data analysis, most of the data collected through observations will be qualitative in nature and thereby content analysis, some sort of uh, uh, transcription devices etc. may be used for analysis of data. And finally, the generalization and research report also is needed which has to be done very uh, carefully because observation may not lead to subjective bias. What exactly I have observed based on that uh, whatever the generalizations are uh, drawn can be submitted as a research report. Now, we will learn about the instrumental aids for field observation. For almost all uh, observation purposes, the observer will make use of a diary field notes, observation schedule, checklists, maps, sociometric scales, etc., which are mainly to assist the observer while collecting the data from the field. Likewise, for some research topics, the observer will also make use of a variety of mechanical as well as electronic devices such as cameras like photo camera, movie camera, mobile camera, video camera, etc., tape recorders, audio and video recorders, light meters and audio meter, stopwatch, etc. Coming to the advantages side of uh, observation method, it is very simple, the researcher can directly observe and it is realistic in nature. Useful both for formulation and testing of hypothesis, it, all, it, gives, uh, it has greater accuracy and reliability of data, results are more de uh, dependable and convincing. Coming to uh, disadvantages of observation uh, method, some occurrences may not be open to observation. Spontaneous occurrences of all uh, events often cannot be predicted or observed by the observer. Many times the period of uh, waiting for spontaneous occurrences is uh, time consuming. Environmental and social conditions may obstruct certain occurrences or observations. Now, we will discuss in detail about participant observation which is one of the uh, 
a types of uh, observation method. In participant observation as a method of data collection is mostly carried out by the observer through his personal participation. Participant observation is mostly used by anthropologists uh, doing field work which involves active looking, improving memory, informal interviewing, writing detailed field notes and perhaps most importantly patience. This is a definition by DeWalt and DeWalt. Uh, it is the process of enabling researchers to learn about the activities of the people under study in the natural setting through observing and participating in these activities. In the words of uh, Chenol et al, participant observation is the process of learning through exposure to or involvement in the day to day or routine activities of participants in the researcher setting. In this method, the researcher enrolls himself or herself as a part of uh, the group of uh, study and he or she is known as participant observer. He or she freely mixes with the social activities of the group, their normal workings, functions and festivals, but the purpose of critical study is to learn the group's folklores and mores, customs and traditions, etc. The major aim of this type of observation is to get a spontaneous picture of the life and persons. Observation has a tendency to supply naturalness and completeness of behavior and allows sufficient time to observe it. The persons who are observed should not be aware of the researcher's purpose, then only their behavior will be natural. The concealment of the research objective and his uh, researcher's identity is justified on the ground that it makes it possible to study certain aspects of the group's culture which are not revealed to outsiders. For example, participant observation is mostly used in anthropological studies, cultural studies and ethnographic studies. The major focus in these studies is to understand the customs, traditions, folklores, medicinal or therapeutic practices and cultural behavior of the specialized groups like tribes, aboriginals and marginalized sections of the society. Coming to the merit side of the participant observation possible to acquire wider and pertinent information relevant to the phenomenon of study as it happened and has been observed, ease in exchange of ideas and provides clarity. Another merit is possible to observe both neutral and real behavior as well as unscheduled events. Another merit is play, it may plays an important role in developing new research questions and can lead to the formulation of hypothesis. Coming to the drawback side of participant observation, it needs longer time since some of the activities may not take place as expected or at times consume more time for clarification. Greater resources required in terms of monetary resources as well as infrastructural facilities. Lack of loss of objectivity from the researcher's side may likely to occur. At times, the researchers may observe and collect information about what is interesting to them rather than what is exactly happening. The other uh, qualitative method of data collection that is case study method. Uh, by, uh, to understand its meaning and important is very much essential before how it is going to be used. In social science research, the term case refers to a unit or a study. Though it has different meaning in medicine and public health where it means a patient who approached for treatment and suffers from one or the other disease. In, in simple words, case study means an investigation of a particular unit. In population studies, it is used to, it is used in studying the risk behavior of hostile students, leisure time activities of the elderly persons, the nutrition and uh, dietary practices of pregnant and lactating mothers, etc. Uh, some of the definitions of case studies are provided here. According to Goode and Hatt, case study is a way of organizing social data so as to present the unitary character of the social object being studied. According to Paul Yang, case study is a comprehensive study of social unit 
be that unit a person, a group, a social institution, a district or a community. Consolidating these definitions, one can say that case study is a form of a qualitative method of data collection and anal analysis wherein careful and complete observation of an individual or situation or an institution is done and where also efforts were efforts will be made to study each and every aspect of the concerned unit in minute detail so as to draw inferences and generalizations. The major purpose of the case study is to understand the life cycle of the unit under study or the interaction between factors that explain the present status or its development over a period of time. For example, case study method is used in a variety of ways and settings like social anthropological studies of rural and urban tribal communities for studying jointly delinquency in the case of a lifestyle of working women for studying uh, the swam dwellers uh, while studying uh, refugees and uh, MSM uh, even uh, for studying elderly living uh, uh, conditions and also uh, living arrangements uh, and abuse of the elderly. Now coming to the characteristics of the case study method, number one the single unit uh, analysis with the case study method mostly single unit such as a person, family, institution or community will be studied for the research purpose. At times a few such units also will be studied for a holistic understanding. Secondly, it is a intensive study. The case study method intends to study the single unit intensively by covering past history of the unit and its relationship with others and it tries to connect them to the present uh, status of the unit. Thirdly, Qualitative analysis, as most of the data collected from the case study method is qualitative in nature such as historical aspects, social behavior, groups network etc. The analysis of data also will be qualitative such as content, content analysis, interlinking the various uh, aspects to the phenomenon under study by the researcher. Uh, the next uh, characteristics of uh, case study is uh, interrelationships can be studied. Through the case study method, one can study the various uh, factors that are likely to affect a particular phenomenon and also their interrelationship with other factors individually and or collectively. Another uh, characteristics of case study is behavioral pattern can be studied. Through case study method, the researcher can study the behavioral pattern of the unit under study over a period of time as well as the reasons for such change of behavior if any. Characteristics of case study method is it helps to generalize social science. Social science. The case study method also would be helpful to test the hypothesis and thereby draw generalizations which in turn will be useful in building knowledge in the social sciences. By and large through the case study method one can study peculiarities of the cases under study their unique features and wealth of information with many details that are not possible to study by statistical methods. It can be said that it aims at studying everything about something rather than something about everything as in the case of the statistical method. Some of the major steps to be followed in case study method are number one identifying the specific problem. The researcher at first has to identify the cases to be studied for the research purpose in addition to determining various issues related to it. Secondly, collection of data and history. After identifying the cases to be studied, the researcher has to collect the relevant data preferably on a historical basis and examine the same with care. Thirdly, analysis of the data related to the problem. At this stage, the researcher has to understand the different aspects of the problem and link these to the phenomenon under study in a logical manner. While analyzing the researchers also can, also can evaluate and arrive at certain conclusions related to the phenomenon under study. Fourthly, 
for ca under case study the remedial measures also can be suggested. After the analysis of the problem and uh, finding out certain con conclusions related to the phenomenon under study, the researcher has to suggest suitable remedial uh, medi remedies or treatment to solve the problem or overcome the problem under investigation. Once suggested the remedial measures, follow up program also need to be undertaken. Once remedial measures are applied and the solutions are found, the researcher has to have a follow up to determine the effectiveness of the remedial measures or treatment. Coming to the advantages of case study method, it is intensive in nature, it is flexible, uh, data from natural setting can be collected through case studies, it is, uh, the case study method is less expensive, it is useful to generate and test hypothesis, it helps in uh, uh, understanding real and uh, enlightened records of personal experiences. It is also exhaustive study of social units, it is useful to generalize knowledge and it is also useful in uh, enhancing the ability and the skills of the researcher and finally, it is useful in diagnose and solve practical problems. Uh, case studies have some disadvantages too, it develops overconfidence that everything has been studied. False generalizations also likely to likely sorry, false generalizations also likely because of typical cases. The case studies does not provide universal interpersonal and uh, common aspects of uh, phenomenon. It, it consumes more time, money and manpower as it requires uh, more intensive study. Sometimes it may be done unscientifically and unsystematically. It is difficult to apply to all topics and or settings. It is also difficult to compare the cases under a study since the results are obtained to one case may not be obtained in the other. The basic principle of objectivity is likely to be lost in this method as the researcher will come close to the unit of study. In sum, in this module a detailed discussion is made to understand the essentials of quality, qualitative data collection methods such as observation, participant observation and case study. Also you have learnt about the characteristics and the steps in organizing the field observation and case study methods besides their advantages and disadvantages or drawbacks of these methods of data collection. Hope with this knowledge you may be able to adopt one or the other methods of data collection for an effective research study in population studies. Thank you.